Welcome traders to the Polaris Trading Group PTG University Indicator Review. Today's indicator we'll look at is called the Volume Oscillator. And this oscillator displays real-time differential between buying and selling pressure. The Volume Oscillator oscillates the net volume delta of buyers and sellers in real time. Plotted as an oscillator which eliminates much of the interpretation confusion created by volume footprint displays if you are a visual trader, then this volume oscillator will be one of the greater benefits in your decision making when attempting to decipher who is in control. So let's take a look at the uh, indicator on the charts. Okay, we're taking a look at an intraday chart of the S&P E-mini here. And on the two subgraph windows is one, the volume oscillator, and two, a companion uh, indicator that we use along th with this and uh, is the accumulation distribution indicator. Now the accumulation distribution indicator simply measures systematic uh, buying and selling or cumulative delta and then what the volume oscillator uh, measures is the actual buying and selling pressure uh, throughout the course of the session. So using as a combination you get to see the accumulative delta whether it's increasing or the cumulative delta whether it's decreasing using the accumulation distribution indicator and then using the volume oscillator here in this fashion you can actually see the buying and selling pressure that's coming in and so you want to align yourself with the opportunities where there is cumulative delta uh, in this example uh, on the bull the systematic buying underneath the surface of, of price action and what you want to use the volume oscillator for is where I've placed the arrows is you want to look as price pulls back and there's a little bit of net selling coming in at that point. There's not enough net selling to change the cumulative delta. So essentially what, what that read is is that the uh, large institutions are buying the weakness all right, because they anticipate uh, prices to go higher. So what we want to do with the volume oscillator is catch the natural... Uh, ebbs and flows uh, in the actual uh, delta readings uh, throughout the day. So on a pullback here you'll see a little bit of natural uh, uh, net selling coming in. It's, and again visually it's denoted by the uh, red oscillator. But when that selling uh, stops and the buyers uh, regain control uh, we'll get a signal to to buy here where we get a cross uh, of that zero line. Okay and you'll see the histogram then uh, start turning green all in real time and this this measures that buying and selling pressure all right so again you know then prices push up pull back again so you see a little bit of natural selling coming in but not enough to change the the overall cumulative delta uh, readings here and then a uh, new buy signal here and again that's where we want to take uh, an aggressive uh, long signal because we have the uh, large institutions buying the pullbacks and what we want to do is simply just time all right, ourselves when the selling is you know the wave of selling is complete we come back in and start looking to buy and that's what we want so it offers us a, a critical point of which we can uh, enter trades okay uh, on the pullbacks all right such as this and come in with a very very low risk profile for an opportunity and this also keeps us on the uh, correct side of uh, mr. big Okay, so this is a very uh, strong, uh, one of our core indicators that we use here at Polaris Trading Group. Um, a lot of people like using uh, volume uh, profiles, volume analysis. Uh, a lot of folks like using uh, cumulative delta and uh, footprint charts. Uh, those tend to be a bit more um, uh, number oriented for the visual trader, though this offers you the same uh, schema. Uh, without having to interpret what an individual volume number actually means relative to the overall uh, action. Uh, very simple in its construction, very powerful in its use, and hope that helps improve your trading. Good trading, everybody.